We're here on the family farm uh, where I grew up in Points Pass, which is sort of County Armagh, and we have just over a thousand acres here. Um, so it was a great uh, for me growing up on the farm and every chance you got, uh, whether it's summer holidays or as soon as school was over and, and obviously the homework was done and it was out, you know, out with dad or out with some of the workers and just, it's a great place that I've loved um, my younger days being out here as much as I could. Whenever I hurt my neck in 2009, I kind of realised maybe that rugby wouldn't last forever and I would need a plan B. And that's when I sort of started to buy the Aberdeen Angus cattle that, that we're surrounded by now. So we're, we're up to just short of 60 cows. We're a, a spring calving herd, so we'll really start the end of February, start of March will be the start of the, the calves coming. We'll try to get them all calved on their feet and out into the fields. And, um, it also coincides with the Six Nations, so I'm away for quite a bit of that, so Dad does all that himself, but we're retaining most of the females in the herd, and we're trying to bring as many of the bulls through as possible and sell them um, as breeding stock. Nutrition from a sporting point of view, it's, it's really important. In the national team, we get DEXA scanned sort of three or four times a year, so they put a lot of emphasis on um, body composition, mainly body fat percentage and kilograms of muscle. So we know that the best way to fuel the body and, and to be able to lay, lay down that lean tissue, which is what we need to try to compete at the highest level, is through good nutrition. You know, you can train as hard as you want, but if you don't supplement that with, with good nutrition, good nutrition timing, then your body's not gonna be in the physical condition it needs to be to compete with the best teams in the world. Eating locally sourced fresh produce is very dear to my heart. A nice balance between your protein source, your carbohydrate source, some fiber, your fresh vegetables. For aspiring sports people, I would say just eat the right things, you know, and, and eat things you like because there's so many good food sources out there that are really, really healthy. You know, the omega-3 chicken Devonish are involved with is really, really good because to get that level of omega-3s in a food stuff and take away a little bit of the supplementation with tablets and, and other forms is really important. I would love to tell you that I'm here every morning at five before I go up to work, but with the physical effort it takes to farm and the physical effort it now takes with rugby, because you know, they're long days and then to come back here and, and have to tidy up after the cattle, you just you wouldn't be able to do it. It is like rugby now, it has to be a business and it's something that I want to grow into a business for when I finish playing rugby and nutrition probably with the genetics and then making the most of that genetics through nutrition are two of the most important parts of, of farming that, that certainly we can control and, and use a lot more science maybe than they did in the past. Mm -hmm.